getting gas right now and then I'm going to get my car serviced so we're heading to do that and yeah I wanted to I wanted to get coffee on the way I just don't think I'm gonna have time we'll see after I get done here maybe I will have time Okay, as I was saying, wanted to get some coffee, which I think we're going to have time now, so we need to boot scoot and boogie on over there. But A hot chai tea latte with two shots of espresso. And what size is that? Uh, let's do a venti. Gotcha. Thank you. Thank you. is done it took like two and a half hours which is fine honestly because I was able to get so much work done which was awesome I just was on my iPad um, but and then I picked up our dry cleaning that I took last week and honestly forgot about until the other day but I figured while I was already over here I would just pick it up today so pick that up car is done all great things. Now we're heading home. It is uh, one o'clock. So, I guess we'll head home, get some lunch, and then keep working. And definitely need to finish some laundry. But the state of this office slash my closet is treacherous. It's actually terrible. There's still a hole in the ceiling. How did the hole get there? Weather. Um, why is it still there? It's not a question for me. It's a question for Jared. Um, my Christmas tree's still up. So, need to take that down. Because it's January 17th. Honestly, I pass by that tree every day, and I I forget it's there. So, I need to... It's time to clean this place. It's, it's foul. It's literally foul. Then there's a file cabinet over here that I need to organize. Oh my god, get off. Get off. Get off. My aunt just had a baby, her third baby. Um, she has three under the age of four, five? I don't know. She's an amazing mom. She's an amazing aunt. She's actually one of my bridesmaids, but I ordered, look at these. Oh my god. I forgot how cute these were. A little newborn onesie with little Highland cows. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cute. It's from Caden Lane. I need to get these shipped off to her. Oh my god, I seriously can't. How cute is that? I need to get those because that's only zero to three months, so... Two little squishmallows for her girls that are um, older ones. And then I got this. There's a local boutique downtown. I don't know. I think this is so cute. It's just a little... I don't really know what it is. How do you wear this? 
I don't know. I thought it was cute. So, he also got this. Precious. It just opens up at the bottom, though. I don't know. Yeah. I wonder if I can show this at all. Without showing his name. Blanket with his name on it. From Caden Lane as well. So, I need to get this and send this off to her. I'm gonna write a little note on this cute little card. I'm not for sure where all of this came from that came out of the um, that top drawer, but there's some change in here, $2. Um, here's this Polaroid of Lou eating a Dutch Bros pup cup. Loads of receipts that I've just haven't thrown away. A lot of business receipts that have already gone in QuickBooks. Uh, I don't know why I still have them. And tons of gift cards. That's great. Some stickers and some tahine packets because I can't go anywhere without these. I always have these in my purse. Always. Like I carry a little purse and these are always, or like a little bag within my purse, and these are always in there. Anyways, and then all of this stuff, I've probably already shown that, but all of this stuff right here needs to be transferred from this into the file cabinet. And then I grabbed a bunch of files the other day so I can get the file cabinet organized. So I'm not for sure how many notebooks and paper that a human could possibly need but i have so many binders that are empty i also just bought a binder the other day clearly did not need to do that so many coloring books notebooks oh my gosh there's so much stuff and this is full of notebooks there's books in here daily planners to-do lists small notebooks Oh, a planner, a 2024 planner. Well, I have two now. I'm sure, I could find use for this somewhere. Let's see. Oh, I put my change Breda dates on here. Oh, go me. Speaking of, what month are we in? Today's sh we're in January. I need to change it next month. Interesting. And then, yeah. That's. I'm stopping for today. I got this top one done. Not done, but I got. I started on labels and putting some documents in places. And then I got this. Somewhat. It's organized, it just doesn't look organized. Good morning. Actually, it is not good morning. Hello, hi, it's 12.15. I'm going to make some lunch and start off the vlog for today. So let's get, oh my God, I need an energy drink, but let's, I'm making soup out of I'm gonna make it out of a cookbook today. Out of the cookbook. This is the Fanny Farmer cookbook. Today I need to like finalize, not really finalize, but I need to get a better idea for this book is broken. Anyways, I need to do like really nail down what I want our tablescapes to look like for the wedding. Um, one for florals because I need to get like that completely finalized. And then also for ordering stuff. If you're curious, we're getting married in 107 days. I'm so over wedding planning and this whole thing. I'm just ready 
let me hold on let me get all these ingredients but then we'll do we'll talk about being a 2024 bride 2024 wedding all those things but let me grab all these ingredients because i'm hungry Ooh. oh cheers as I said, our wedding is in 107 days, which feels long, but it also doesn't feel long at all. Like it feels, let me move this a little, but it doesn't, I feel like I literally have no time left. So the thing is I feel like I don't have much time left and I am completely over wedding planning, wedding, anything to do with wedding, to be completely honest. It's not fun for me. I don't like it. Um, and maybe, I think also a big part of it is timing, which is a lot of it's self-inflicted and could have been avoided, but it wasn't so timing is just not it's not it it's like the one thing i wish i would have done and i would for anyone who just got engaged or if you're to the point of about to get engaged or whatever it may be even if you're not engaged or in a relationship hire a freaking wedding planner do it I have like a planner who's a week of and the day of and they'll be handling everything while the wedding's happening but hire someone a professional who's done this or whatever it may be a company who would without a doubt they will help you tremendously it's 1000 percent worth it a honeymoon has just been like the last thing on my mind to be honest it I promise you it really hasn't uh, cross shirt find much so I don't know we haven't decided if we're going on a honeymoon right after I would like to go somewhere because I really do think having that downtime just he and I after the wedding is going to be crucial after these past couple months um, I mean it's insanity everywhere it's and it's only about to continue to get worse so I think we really do need to go somewhere, even if it is just in the States. Um, I don't know. I I don't know. I don't know what to do. Do a little mini honeymoon and then maybe in a couple months, like October, November, do like full honeymoon. Go where we really want to go and just do something quick and easy for right after the wedding but I do think having that time as husband and wife right after is really important it's really important to me and it's something that holy shit this onion is making oh my god this onion is strong but it's something that I feel like needs to just needs to happen I've been looking up honeymoon spots all morning Oh, my eyes are burning for, for our honeymoon, as I said, but I don't know what to do. I'm trying to, the dream would be, I mean, I would love to go to like St. Lucia. I feel like that's a really hot spot right now though, or it's becoming very hot. I just think it's a beautiful place. I've always thought it, but I don't really know 100%.
back to talking about weddings. I also have the fan on, so I hope you can hear me okay. Uh, I guess we'll see, but... All things wedding. Little over 100 days out. And... I'm very excited for the wedding. I can't wait. Um, I, it's going to be so much fun, but I'm ready for it to be here. Also, I feel like Jarrett and I have, like, basically been married. Like, I feel like we're, you know, already there. I'm very excited for my bachelorette. That's, like, in full force right now. Our wedding is in Texas. Jarrett and I live in California, so... He's from California, I'm from Texas, so it's definitely split, and there's lots of people who are traveling from California down there, which we are extremely grateful for. We're so excited to have everyone. We'll be down there almost like a week and a half before the wedding, which is ideal to get everything just intact. Um, you know, finish up anything that we need to finish up, decor, whatever it may be. My wedding tips that I would give you, wedding planning tips I would give. Number one, book your venue. That's the first thing you should do is book the venue. Number two, hire a wedding planner. And, and then everything else will start to fall in place. That's number three. Alright, we here is lunch, soup. Um I don't know, this is gonna be my first time having this, so we'll try it together. But I made some green beans yesterday that I just reheated and then um some oranges. This is my hyper fixation right now. I am obsessed with oranges. Not bad. A month ago, and I tried to book and get our invitations for Piscato. Atlanta, I was only really lucky, but I feel like it's a weekday and. I'm working on the tables, designs, and stuff right now, and so I'm really loving flowers like this, like just a single flower, like vase. In the middle because we will be having round tables and long tables so i'm really loving this but i also and it kind of looks like there's some smaller candles right there but i love big glasses with candles in them so i don't know i definitely love this our flowers are mainly going to be white but i also love like this absolutely love this so i'm thinking something similar to this for um like the long tables because they're long farmhouse tables won't be having a tablecloth just a runner and i think with loose flowers and candles like this i think would be so cute i love that i am um, still working on the centerpieces and the tables for the wedding but I just edited a TikTok uh, just of me making lunch today. So I just did that in DaVinci and I'm going to get that put up on TikTok. But, and then I'm just watching Sydney Adams and then I'm going to start a, I have like a 2024 reset vlog. That I debated on posting or not, but I think I'm going to post it because I filmed it and might as well. I edited an ad on my iPad and then I it was super easy editing that ad. It was just super easy to edit it on my iPad and I could have it like save it to my files and it be on my phone already. Like, you know, and I know like on the Macs and stuff, like you can still do AirDrop, but... I don't know, whatever. It was just super easy, so I edited that one, and then 
I'm in the middle of another one right now. I did this TikTok and I've just determined that I'm going to be... I'm just going to start editing. It was so literally so easy. I just plugged my card in. And I just went into DaVinci on DaVinci iPad. And so, but I'm going to start doing um, reels and ads and stuff like that on my iPad on DaVinci. If you know me, there's one thing you know that I am obsessed with my iPad. And I truly wish that it could be exactly like my laptop but it's not I mean it I don't I can't be I've tried <laughs> I have tried and tried and tried because if I could take my iPad everywhere I would and I still do I still and I use my iPad way more than my laptop um which is like crazy I just I don't know why I just love my iPad but being able to do DaVinci on the iPad is really cool. I did edit a vlog, a YouTube vlog, on the iPad a while back. And it worked. It don't have all the features that you do on the laptop, even the free version. Um, but it still worked well. I could tell, notice difference with fonts and transitions and um, effects and stuff like that. There's definitely a difference. I don't know. That's just kind of where I'm at with that right now. I think before I start editing this vlog, though, um, I'm going to do a quick... I think I'm going to do a Pilates workout here. And then I also really, really need to stretch because I went to the gym. What day was that? I did leg day two days ago. And I... Like, my muscles... My legs just really hurt. I can tell I have like a, it's just really tight. So I'm going to do a good stretch and do a Pilates workout too. I think. We'll see. I just threw on some shorts and a t-shirt um, because... Today in Placerville, it'll be cloudy with a... Who? Why did the weather just pop up? Interesting. Anyways, um, what was it saying? Oh, I don't know where my yoga mat is. It should be fine. When we lived in, I oh my god! I need to get rid of my TM sneakers. Go. Um. Oh, when we lived in Oklahoma, I did hot works for like, uh, probably like a year and a half, maybe almost like a year and a half, but. I freaking love hot works. Um, now that I've had a little bit of a break from it, because it was kind of getting a little like complacent a little bit, but now that I've had um, a break from it, I miss it so much. But the closest hot works to me is like 40 minutes away, which I will absolutely not be driving that far. And there's not a Pilates studio here in town. Um, there's like a yoga studio. I think there's a yoga studio. I don't know. I haven't really looked into it. That's why I just got like a regular gym membership. Gym membership. But I miss Pilates more than anything, especially Hotworks. Hotworks was so good for me, and I was in incredible shape too. But that's okay. That'll be just fine. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Nope. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. I don't know what kind of Pilates we want to do today. Should we do full body? Welcome. Mm -hmm. 
We're gonna try this mask. I'm gonna have Jared try it too. Stop my hair. You just want to notice it's pink. <laughs> Five to ten minutes, then we're in. What are you looking for? sit for five to ten minutes or till it completely dries it's honestly drying really fast i would see i feel like we'll see okay it's pretty well dry i literally my face is so tight my nose is still drying so i'm gonna let it sit just a little bit longer but oh I can definitely see so many pores right here and here, definitely right here. So I'm interested to see how this feels tomorrow too. Jarrett, yeah. come here. What do we do? We wash it off. Mine's really tight. Oh my god, look, look. What is that? Those are your pores. Wow. That's dirt and like oil and shit coming out of your pores. It's detoxing your face. You're clean. Not really. Look. Interior routine. Oh Jesus. Speaking of, it's weird that's not your face. It's just go it it's just like literally water. It's fine. Uh, Glymed has a set. It's called the Gentleman's set that I bought for Jarrett like literally months ago and he's never touched once, but I'm gonna use the oil free you can't see that. The oil free moisturizer. Put that on. Let that dry. I put this on. You do wash your face every day. Do you feel soft? Mm hmm. Put this on my face. Is your face dry? Yeah. You 
You feel good? I do. did some skincare, but now I'm going to make some breakfast, so let's do the eggs. I'm an English muffin. Update on my skin this morning. It feels incredibly soft. Um, I don't know. I mean, I could see everything that I was pulling out of my pores last night. So, but it feels really, really good this morning. Felt very refreshing. So, and all of my skincare and everything went on good. Um, I'm curious to see how the makeup goes on, but we'll see. I'm already, I'm not loving my fit today, but physically don't have time to care about it. So here it is. This top is from H&M. This is from Crystal's Hope. And then these linen pants are from Daily Drills. And then I just have on some orange Nikes. And here she is. I can get the full fit. And that's about it, but I need to be getting out of the door right now. Hi, I don't think I ever told y'all, but I am getting lip blushing done today, so that is actually where I just pulled up to, so let's go, let's go in and get it done. immediately after they are so swollen and this will not be the final color whoa I'm still kind of numb too but this won't be the final color this is like probably I think she said like three or four shades darker but over the next the swelling should go down in like 12 hours and then I think it takes like two weeks for the color to fully get to what it is but I absolutely love them they're definitely uh they're swollen and I'm still a little bit numb but she did so freaking good I went to Hannah Madsen I'll tag all of her stuff down below but she's in Folsom California so but I will definitely um leave all of her information I'll put it on the screen too but I'll leave it down below as well but even if you're not in the area you should still follow her um, but she did so good so yeah that's it I think I'm gonna go find some some lunch um, I don't I can't really eat anything 
puff right now, so I think I'm gonna have to do like I'm kind of just craving like a smoothie. I'm just icing my lips right now um, and then I'm going to what am I going to do wipe them off and then put some ointment on them um, she gave me a little like care kit to take home they're feeling definitely dry they're feeling very tight and dry they're insanely red too but I wanted to give y'all an update it's been like Four hours now since they were done so here they are my face is having a little bit of a reaction not bad but and I'm about to get ready for the day I don't really know what I'm doing today but you will see I just wanted to give a lip update here it is they're very very dry today so I'm just keeping lots of moisture and ointments and stuff on them but I think um, I'm gonna hop in the shower though, and then I'll explain like what I do after the shower for them. Before the shower, you just put on a thick layer of vitamins A and D ointment. Um, Hannah gave me this in my little care package. So you put a thick layer of that on, and then, all right, I just got out of the shower. Um, just wash my body, didn't wash my hair, but now I'm going to just do morning skincare and clean the lips. So I'm gonna read off straight from the sheet to make sure I'm getting this right. I do have a towel on. I know it looks like I'm naked, but I have a towel on. Anyways, so what you do is you're supposed to clean the lips three times a day, morning, midday afternoon and evening with just a cotton pad and water clean them um, and then apply this um the a and d you can use either grapeseed coconut or a and d ointment i'm just using this one because that's what hannah gave me and then but a thin layer because of, i guess if you apply too much it can fade it faster than what it will be fading like at a normal recovery rate um but don't ever never supposed to let it dry out because it will crack and i think it'll mess up the colors and stuff and then you're supposed to apply a heavy layer of the ointment though before you take a bath it says before bathing washing and immediately upon rinsing in the morning um as far as brushing teeth for the first five days use a normal amount of toothpaste nothing crazy um so like i have an electric toothbrush and i probably just won't turn it on i'll just like manually do it so it doesn't get uh anything crazy because um, toothpaste does have stuff in it that i think can fade this and 
you know, all that good stuff. Um, you're not supposed to, it will, my lips will start peeling, it'll start shedding, um, just as a normal tattoo would or whatever. You're not supposed to remove the peeling. Um, you're not supposed to let makeup or really any fragrance scented lotions, serums or anything touch it. So, uh, last night when I was washing my face, I was just very careful of everything when I was doing my skincare and getting ready. Um, in the first seven days, you're also not supposed to do an extreme sweating, any phys physical activity. Um, don't eat spicy foods or hot foods or drinks temperature wise. Um, and no lipsticks, lip glosses, or anything on the lips. Just, um, she recommends just Bliss Experts Beast Chapstick. Or this is, I don't know what's in this, but it's super hydrating. I'll ask her and I'll put it on the screen with what this is. This is super hydrating, love this. Or the, this ointment. Or grapeseed oil or coconut oil. Other things. Um, and then the full recovery time is 14 days. So there's lots of things to do and to not do. Um, for 14 days, no sauna, no swimming pool, no hot baths, showers, no tanning beds. Um, no massages, no facials, no waxing, no threading, no laser or skin treatments. Um, and trying to stay in as sanitary conditions as you possibly can. These are the stages of lip blushing. Currently on day two. My swelling has gone down tremendous since yesterday. I can still see, I have a lot of swelling up here, which could be filler. I don't know. So yeah, the stages, so it takes full, four to six weeks for it to fully, for like the healing process and everything. And then I'll go back in for a touch up in six weeks. And, but it's supposed to last two to three years with additional touch-ups. Um, obviously it just says most things, but. positive we left off here earlier uh, but we just had some people over for dinner but it, it's 11 I am tired but I'm gonna get ready for bed and go to bed so good night
never ended off got it yellow no sorry anyways i never ended off this vlog but i wanted to um just check in one say peace but two let's do a little lip update let me first start off by saying so today is day four of post lip blushing and um it is common for okay we'll just start let me just gather myself i have a cold sore blister fever blister i don't know it is pretty intense it's kind of big i don't even know if you can really see on camera how big it is i just put some medication um lip stuff on top of it so it does kind of have a white film on it but anyways i got a cold sore yesterday i woke up and immediately knew one was coming in so i called my doctor yesterday morning and asked her to get uh put in a prescription for for the cold sore and she did so i started my prescription at like 12 yesterday and um i can definitely feel that it's kicked in because my lips feel like so much better than yesterday still hurting it it's just so bad but anyways it's doing better now but it is common to get cold sores when you do lip blush just fingers crossed that this does not interrupt like the color but other than that the color's fading beautifully i'm obsessed with this color i still have a few spots that are kind of peeling and shedding but it's going really well other than this stupid cold sore that's so annoying i don't know i don't want to get like <sighs> yeah so there's that but anyways i'm yeah that's all i hope you enjoyed um if you made it this far thank you for being here and taking the time to watch so i love you and i will see you next video